Hi there. All right, we'll get started. Uh, it's an eight inch octagon. I got this from uh, these from Amazon. Okay, so what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be swiping over here, transferring it onto my canvas. Uh, I'm going to be swiping with this tool, transferring with these cards that I have, just old cards. And they're, they're pretty, they're pretty uh, sturdy, so they should work. I haven't had very much luck with my tools with transferring, um, so probably have to look for something something better but these cards if they work good then I don't need to so begin I will add my house paint on the canvas and it's PPG kitchen bath and uh, trim I get it from a local hardware store in Canada Ontario not far from here There's a See how much I have now. I'm going to spin it out a little bit to thin it. Got a few air bubbles in this. I think I need a little bit more. I think that's enough. can't leave too much paint on the canvas or it will crack. So I think I'm going to go from here. All right, so now I'm going to add my pillow or my base coat here. And the trick to, the trick also is not to make this too big. I think that might be good because there's going to be other paint on top. At least I hope. All right. That's black. This one is the phthalo green. A little bit of white. I'm thinking this is actually my white cell activator that I'm using. It's already sinking. Oh well. I didn't have any other white mixed up, so we'll go with that. This one is um, grunge, this little piggy. And then I've got Sterling by this little piggy. So this is my silver. I'm gonna try and use more of this one because of all of the other greens. This might get lost. So I'm gonna add more. Now I've got the reflex screen. Uh, 
Okay. Now that turquoise green. Lots of greens. I can't pick this all up at one in one shot. I might have to divide it up into two different um, transfers. Um, okay. Now my cell activator. Okay, you have to stir it really well before you use it. Each time, not each, you know, each time you do a painting, you have to really stir this. Okay, so let's get some black on here. I never know how much to put on this swipe tool. I don't think you're supposed to put too much on here, but I don't know. I guess you have to have enough, so you have to really eyeball it. Okay, I guess that's enough. Okay, let's put that over there. So I'm just going to swipe over this. Okay, it's looking pretty nice. Okay, get my card. Um, I might have to divide it up into two two things. I don't know. We'll see. Or maybe I should go like that. No. Um, this is where I, this is where I struggle. <laughs> I don't know whether to pick up the whole thing. I can always do another one if I mess up this. So then I'm going to just transfer it over here somehow. I don't know how yet. Um, okay, so I'm just tilting my board a bit, putting the card underneath, letting it fall onto the card. This is tricky too, this part. Okay. I kind of like what I see on the card, so I'm going to grab another card. If I can get it out of the package. And I'm just going to just put it back on here. Not going to get too much of the black on there. Um, that black might spin off more than likely. Where should I put this?
going to leave that black part of it behind. <laughs> I don't want too much black on here. It's dark enough. All right. Let's get this transferred. Um, I think I'm going to go this way here. I'm going to scoop it up like that. Again, I'm not sure this this will come off, so I'm going to catch it on another card. And then I'll be able to transfer it. I don't like this black piece right here. It probably will spin off anyway. Okay. I think it's time to spin. I just want to show you a bit of a close-up of what it looks like now. Okay. Okay. Okay, let's see what I can get from this. Okay, so... Um... Well, let's spin it and see how it looks. Just tr gonna try and tilt this some of this off. Plus, I can see how it's moving on the canvas. Uh, you have to make sure you spin enough paint off or tilt enough paint off, otherwise it could crack. Oh, that's looking really nice. Oh, I like the looks of this when I tilt. Sides are good. For some reason this is not moving that fast. So what I do when I want an end to come off is I just move it over here a little bit on the on the spinner. So when you spin, it forces this side off more than this side. a few air bubbles so um, I'll show you what to do with the air bubbles that to get rid of them
Whoa. Lock came off that time. Okay, I think it's looking okay. Move it back. So, I think it looks quite nice. I might, I think I might modify it a little bit just, just to give it a little bit of interest because I have a lot of paint on here. See, I still, I still add, no matter what happens, I always add too much paint on my canvas. So, I will, okay, first of all, to get rid of these air bubbles, you just pop, I have a little skewer stick here. I'm just going to put it right in the middle of the air bubble, and then it just kind of doesn't completely disappear. Okay. That looks that looks way better. Just two tiny ones in the middle here. You don't need anything big. Okay, that's good there. I like this area right here. I don't want to do too much to that. So. I think I like it just like this. I think that's it. I can't mess around with it anymore. It's pretty. I just have to come back and tell you what I did. I dropped a piece of plastic on this side here and it was so it lifted the paint off on this corner and part of this so what I did was I spun it um, quite a bit more to, to bring it off and uh, it uh, it worked okay just want to show you a close-up I'm back with the dried result. It dried really nice, nice and smooth. No cracking. I'll bring you down for a little close up. So thank you very much for watching my video. I appreciate it. Um, have a great day and see you in my next video. Bye for now.